your eyes just tell it to Jesus Jesus you are my all in all hallelujah
to the kids in the ministry. Today is another beautiful day to celebrate and experience the goodness of God in our lives. Amen ba? I know that you are excited and ako sad, excited kayo ko. And before ta magsugod, I want you to prepare your hearts, open your hearts, open your mind, and forget no, on sa imong ginahuna karon and let's focus in hearing and experiencing uh, the word of God karong buntaga. Amen ba? So, So kids, nakoy pangutana sa inyo. Ready na ba mo? Ready na, ready na. I can hear you. Ready na, ready na. All right, so let's be Okay. Good morning kids. Igna again imo hang tapad. Good morning. Okay, happy happy Sunday. Okay. This is the time that we are going to review our lesson last Sunday. Sige, kuhita imong tapad kids. Kinsay or igna yung tapad nga ka ng nagtanaw ka last Sunday? Or naminaw ka last Sunday lesson? Amen! Sa ito bagsay mong tapad? Naminaw ba? Okay. Okay now, we, we are going to review our lesson last Sunday. So, what was our lesson last Sunday? 
Sige, ingon ni Teacher Sam, ana siya dito. A prayerful person is a powerful man. Ana siya dito, you must love prayer, so you must pray. And number one point is, and sige to kids, when you pray, there is a change of atmosphere. Amen? Number two, what was that? The Holy Spirit will show himself to us by telling or by letting us feel God's presence. Amen? Number three, lastly, you become fearless or bold to speak God's power. Amen? So kids, inga naka-powerful no ang ato ang kinabuhi if we are going to pray. Amen? Igna mo hang tapad, pray, pray, pray. Amen. Hello kids, how are you today? Are you excited to learn new things from the Lord? All right. No, I believe ready na ang tanan. But first, we need to follow the rules, okay? So first, sit properly. Second, zip your mouth. Third, listen attentively. So no, come on, no, manindog tang. Let's pray. Just close your eyes and bow down your head. Yes, Heavenly Father, God, Lord, thank you for this morning, O God. Lord, salamat, Lord, si Mohang Gugma, Lord, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy, O God, Lord, salamat, Lord, sa life, aning nga mga kids, O God. Lord, bless our world this morning, O God, that Lord, kining nga word, it will be an impact, Lord, sa matakusa, Lord, it will be an impact, Lord, sa mga bata, Lord God. Lord, salamat sa tanan, Lord, we honor you, we praise you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And now, our key verse is found in the book of Acts chapter 12 verse 5. About the time King Herod Agrippa began to persecute some believers in the church, he had the apostle James, John's brother, killed with a sword. When Herod saw how much this pleased with the Jewish people, he also arrested Peter. This took place during the Passover celebration that he imprisoned him, placing him under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He had intended to bring Peter out for public trial after the Passover. But while Peter was in prison, the church prayed very earnestly for him. As you see kids, the moment we pray, God is working something for our own good. He releases His divine power for us, allowing us to see His miracles and faithfulness. As we pray, we are exposing our hearts to Jesus, allowing Him to search what is inside of us. So now always remember that prayer is something we must give importance because that is the answer to what we are going through. The moment we kneel down in praying, God is standing before us, protecting us. So, teacher, how to pray? Teacher, usaon pag amfo. Dili ko kabalo ang saon, sir. So, usaon mat. No, usaon mag pray. How to pray? Number one, praise Jesus with all your heart. As we pray, we enshrone the name of Jesus, thanking for his. Goodness. Number two, express what is in your heart. Tell God everything. You can be honest. He listens. Number three, obey and surrender as you pray. Letting God to take the full control, trusting that He is the one who holds our future in His hands. Number four, receive His love and grace in your life. His love is more than enough. It's not hard to trust if you know that His love is all that you need. So teacher, nga nang powerful ka ayo ang prayer? No, why prayer is power? Number one, it is our weapon. Number two, it is our connection to God. Number three, it is our act of victory. The moment we pray, 
God is breaking the impossible situation and replace with victory. There is power in the name of Jesus once we kneel down and pray. So no, the moment that I nga mo kneel down to dila kay Lord, the moment nga mag pray ka dila kay Lord, na na ay buhaton si Lord, na ay na ay power sa ngalan ni Jesus. No, always remember that prayer is power. Amen. Amen. Hi kids. So now mo pa dayon ta kids, we are going to pray our family. So it's about sino ganang prayer dali. Okay, so now kids All together, let's close our eyes, let's bow down our head, and let's pray. We pray, my family, let's say, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day. Salamat, Lord, for giving us a family, O Lord, nga mo love sa mua, mo nurture sa mua, Father. And God, we pray for blessing and protection sa mong family, good, you know. My Lord, matalusa sa mua, Father, ma, we will going to serve you, God, we will going to follow you, Lord. I-bless ni mo, Father, ang mga mamag, yung mga parents sa mga kids, O oh Lord, yung naadari. And now, Father, i-bless silang mama, yung papa, protect them, Lord. Guide them, O oh God, kuban silang mga igsuon. We pray, Father, for protection over silang lives, you know, oh Lord, matag-isa sa mga bata, you know, oh, nga naadari. We will continue, Lord, to serve you together with our family, O oh God. We praise you, Lord. We honor you. In Jesus' name, Amen. 